and welcome back another one today we are going to try an experiment uh, because I don't have anything to repair right at the moment and that experiment it's really good that we got this new camera because uh, we can see what's going on so we're going to attempt uh, making this camera into a night vision camera and this is just the rear facing camera from a Galaxy Core Prime. So let's move on under the microscope and let's see if we can actually get this camera apart and see what the insides look like. So Galaxy Core Prime. The only reason I chose this one is I have a working phone uh, that once I try this, uh, if it works, I'll actually be able to test it without risking damaging any good phones. So this looks like a piece of uh, electrical tape that's kind of holding everything in. So we're just going to first gently peel that off. And the cleaner I can keep this thing in better. Yeah, this is pretty exciting. We'll see if this works. two solder joints there. This is kind of a pain to get off. There we go. Okay, so we've got... Oh, we need to get that piece off too. Okay, so what are we looking at here? That is interesting. And that, so it looks like there's four silver, they almost look like little doors or clips. Oh. They look like they're glued though. It's kind of obvious that this camera is not intended to be opened but let's poke at it and see how easily we can get in i don't know what this little clip does oh that's a magnet so is that one interesting so those look like solder connections or you know vias this looks glued on here Oh, I was able to bend it down. Look at that. So I wonder if that will make it separate. Kind of my goal, I think at this point, is to take, the, I mean, this line looks like, I mean, that looks like it could be where it comes apart. And if it does come apart, well, yeah, this is, this is fun. Anyway, we'll just keep working here curious how far this magnet will go that was interesting it looked like it was opening oh yeah there it goes oh should I try to pry that thing out will it give me a clue oh I broke my razor off in it I kind of don't want that falling inside and possibly damaging the sensor I wonder if I eh. ah god dang it don't want to ruin it I wonder, I think this camera is going to get ruined uh, for scientific purposes. Really want to see this out of there and what's under it. So there is, okay. So we probably don't need to rip that apart anymore. I think that it's going to come apart right here. I really do. This sucker is not going to come apart easy, either. Let's try some stuff. What the hell? So with the new scalpel, let's, let's see what kind of separation of... Oh. Hey, check it out. Oh. Oof, hopefully I'm not stabbing in there too deep. 
Wow, check it out. That is actually separating all right. Don't go too deep. So these solder connections, boy, I wonder if I could wick those out or something, because they are definitely soldered onto the board. Yeah, they're connected. I wonder if I can get some of that out. Yeah, I should be able to get that out. And hopefully cleanly. Ah, damn it. Can't have that happen. Gotta approach this differently. Oh, I think I got it. <laughs> Look at that. We got it desoldered. Can I zoom in with where it's at? Yeah, it's pretty good. <gasps> oh, oh, damn it. So I got it open. Oh, damn it. I got to get better at switching back and forth. Oh, man. Okay, so let's take a look at this. There's the sensor that we desoldered. Okay, so let's look at how this works. So that is, I do believe that is what we want off. It's that red glass. Uh, let me just double check, because this is our sensor. But I boogered it right in here. And it looks like I damaged this pin. Oh, God, man, what happened to my brand new, already a broken blade? Okay, so it looks like I broke two connections loose. I wonder if I can fix those. Wow. They are broken. Yeah, they're not going to be able to fix that. So I don't know how... Ooh. Wow. Those babies are soft. Wow. I made it so much worse. <laughs> okay, so... That has to be it. So can we get that guy out of there? And he is glued in. Wow. Okay. Well, let's put it back together and test it. I don't think we're gonna have good luck though because I ruined it, but let's put it together. Wait a minute. Gonna hold that for a minute there. Let that super gel super stick. Time to re-solder. Ooh, that was nice. Very nice. So we've got the camera installed. We're gonna power this guy on. So we first gotta test and see if the camera works. So the camera does work. Uh, but it's blurry and I can't get it to focus uh oh oh there it is okay but the purpose of this is to try the infrared mode so I'm gonna shut off the lights okay so keep that on my screen uh, shut off the lights and let's wait for the camera system uh, the security system to activate in infrared and then we will see if it lights up and look at that we have successfully uh, just made a night vision camera. So obviously there's some tweaks that we need to do. Turn the lights on uh, to, to get the focus back in because obviously the focus is a big deal. And then let's shut the lights off one more time. We'll wait for the infrared to kick on on the security. So blah, 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 just to make noise until we hear the click on the camera. And then as the room gets filled with infrared light, we can see. All right, well, there we go. Infrared cameras at night from a cell phone, as long as you have a source of uh, infrared. Uh, you can't, it doesn't just work with no lights. You have to have a, a source of infrared. So in my case, I can probably point it up at the camera uh, and that's what the cameras look like. 
uh, go ahead and turn it on. And that's just my security camera. And as soon as it switches, then the light will shut off. There it goes. So groovy. I'll point that up at the camera too. Can we see both? Yep. Lights. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see it right there mm -hmm. on the one lens. So that's all that the regular camera can see, but woohoo!